Hey guys, we're called Like Tyrants. Thanks for watching No Cover TV. Welcome back to No Cover, where to go, who to know. We are very fortunate to have in studio, well, three-fourths, I guess, Likes Tyrant. All right, let's give it up. It's up. <laughs> Happy to be here. Like Tyrants in the building. Welcome, guys. They are a Cleveland metal rock band. Uh, they've got kind of like a 90s sound with a progressive uh, twist to it. So I would uh, want to uh, talk a little bit more. So you started in San Diego. Yeah, I started. Uh, my name's Nick. This is Mike. And this is Brandon. Uh, I started Like Tyrants in San Diego in 2010. Um, and now it's 2022, and uh, we're in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, moved about a bit, had a great time, did the South by South runs, Southwest tours, all kinds of cool bands, all kinds of great venues. Met a lot of awesome people, um, but as life happens, sometimes you have to move around a bit, and uh, yeah, Midwest is Midwest is home. Yeah, uh, I've, I've lived in San Diego myself, obviously. Uh, that's where No Cover really took off was in the San Diego area miss san diego but home has always been cleveland and i i feel uh very 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 comfortable here and uh it's good to see that someone else as yourself made it here and and loves cleveland just as much so tell us how you met these two guys uh yeah so um working living in cleveland playing music in cleveland uh the scene is not as replete like as it would be in a you know a los angeles austin chicago new new york um, so you meet anybody who uh, really is involved in the scene, you meet them relatively quickly. Um, and uh, the three of us actually played in a different band together um, in the time that Tyrants was off over the last few years. Uh, and it was more of a soul, rock, blues kind of thing. Um, but the three of us just felt way more at home playing this style of music together and really kind of expanding these ideas as opposed to playing the regular four-corded kind of uh, deal that we were playing before. And don't get me wrong, we had a great time. Yep. And I met these two because of doing that, um, but it, we, we just feel much more at home. So I met them, they, they played in other bands as well. Brandon still has gigged in other bands as, as well as Mike. Um, but now this is like the main focus and that's how, that's how we kind of all came to be. Very cool, very cool. So we're missing one guy. We're missing Steve, right? Yep. And Steve is an attorney? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. He's a defense attorney. Yeah, he's been doing it for a long time. Uh, he's a great guitar player. Um, wish he were here, but he is actually on vacation right now. So. Vacation in Miami. Yeah. 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 How, how awesome is that? You've got you to gotta love that. And he's kind of like a better call Sal? <laughs> I, like, I like attributing Bruce Wayne to Or Bruce him. Wayne? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bruce Wayne. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bruce Wayne. So he's got a secret past or secret <laughs> identity. I think we just know the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot <laughs> yeah. more to learn. Yeah. Very cool. Well, we'll hopefully get to meet uh, Steve sometime in the future, but uh, I'm excited to hear about your new release. It's called uh, A Paramount, Paramount Loss of Sound. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Full-length record, 11 tracks, 55 minutes. Um, Came out July 1st. 1st of July this year. Um, yeah. Um, a Paramount Loss of Sound was kind of like the, uh, it's a, it's the, you know, it's the, composition of like everything that we've been doing the last couple of years and getting back together and uh, you know pandemic kind of really rocked everybody and that really put us back in the position to make this music and make this record and, and that's what we did and um, we felt uh, inclined to strip everything off the internet that we had done before and, and all of the video and content and media we just took it all off and and that's where the you know that's where the name comes from which is the, a loss of sound the paramount the most loss of sound right and so yeah, the, the record's been out, it's been received well. We're really happy uh, on the radio in Europe and Australia a little bit. So we're tr trying our best here in the States. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's Check it out. <laughs> that, no, that's awesome. That's awesome. So what I like about it is you keep the name, right? But you strip back all the sound, all the old stuff, and then you just kind of focus on all the new stuff that you guys are doing. And speaking of new stuff, you just released this new album July 1st, but you're already talking about going back in to do some more new recording. Yep, one, Tell week, us. one week from today we'll be in the studio recording a couple new songs. That's amazing. How many songs do you guys have in your arsenal? Oh, uh, there's, yeah, uh, it's a lot. Um, I would say, like Tyrants itself, uh, over the years we probably have accrued like, you know, between 30 and 40 songs and then plus all this brand new stuff. So there's another record now that we have written. So there's another 10, 12 songs. So at the end of this record, we'll have, you know, that, that sweet, that sweet spot of like 50 to yeah, 50 that, to 55. And, and so this, this one though, this one, you're going to be holding back. 
you're going to be uh, shopping this one, looking to find a label, find some support while you have the success of this new one coming out. Mm -hmm. And you've got the, uh, the song 77. That's your new single. Yep, that's right. Tell us a little bit about that and how that come about. And then also you got a killer video for it. Yeah, we, uh, we got really lucky. Um, our guitar player owns a piece of a giant building that's in revamp mode right now that they're turning into Airbnbs. And so we got to go and use the shell of this old building to shoot our video in um, and kind of just destroy as we liked and set up live shots in and kind of wander around in the dark and pretty much whatever we wanted to do there, which was really freeing and awesome as to not be on like a the never ending wall set or like the green screen set or like the nice studio where you right, feel like right. you're gonna break something. Yeah. It's such a natural process too. And it really did kind of come down to being his bat cave that we all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the Batmobile there too. Uh, I swear, and I'm not even kidding you, and I don't want to divulge too much, but he drives like a beefed up, all blacked out Challenger. Oh, I need like, to see that. He literally drives the new it's age the Batmobile. Batmobile. Like, I totally need to see that. Oh yeah, you you guys will get along. He's he's, he's awesome. he is, from what we know of him over the last <laughs> couple of years. You know, he's a cool guy. I guess yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so um, we were able to go, uh, we recorded um, this single that's on, some of this record was recorded by Steve Perito at uh, Compass Audio, did a fantastic job, really enjoyed his time. Yep. Um, this song itself is written about some, it's like some, you know, it's a it's an introspective personal piece, of course, and it's more, it's more an at piece as opposed to a, I'm thinking about something in writing. I mean, these were, these lines were deliberately written, like, as I was experiencing them, kind of like piece by piece. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the video, Ian Ver uh, did an awesome job. Sleep Void Media came out. Um, we spent a great deal of time with him and a, and, a, and a camera on his body, kind of following us around. And, and he was just awesome to work with. Um, I, I recommend to anybody listening to the podcast, if you're in the area, to like get that guy to work on some of your media. He's, he's yeah, really, really awesome, great. Was. Awesome to work with. Yeah. And of course, too, when you're recording, you never know what, what's going to be the single. But I think the thing that stuck out with this one was after we recorded it, when we were playing it at home and different things, you know, I know uh, Brandon's wife, you know, Nick's girlfriend, my wife are like that. That is something catchy about that. It, one, you know? It and, definitely and, does. Yeah. It's got it's got a lot of change ups, too, that I like about it. And, you know, with the, uh, the, the uh, what is it, uh, the line? Uh, doing the dirty, doing work. the dirty work. Yeah, yeah. I'll die yeah. to do that. I love that. Like I should. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that is a great line. I think everybody can relate to that, and that's what's yep. beautiful about music is the relatability. And sure. this song is definitely that. Um, it's one that's stuck in my head and I can't get out, which is a good thing. That's what you want. You want people to remember your songs and, and everything. Um, the artwork, tell us a little bit about the artwork. Yeah. Um, interestingly enough, um, a gentleman that I met a decade ago, actually, longer than a decade ago was playing in a band I really liked and tyrants and this band were touring. He's a graphic designer and I've just, I've known him for forever. And, um, when, he figured out that Tyrants was a real thing again and we were starting to play shows and we were going to release music. He reached out directly to me and he said, can I, you know, can I please, help? can I get a part of this? Like when I, I did, he did our first t-shirt designs, the original logos that we have that we all wear, like that's his design. That's killer. Survived for 10 years and I, randomly I'll see it you know, on the internet or see it out in public and I'm like, man, Brian did that 10 years ago. Yeah, so yeah. it's Brian, what's Brian his? Brian Stringham at Plan B Designs. Plan yeah. B Designs, um, yeah, and it's he's, beautiful. And he lives in Los Angeles, uh, really cool guy. Um, but yeah, so we, I, I, I basically, you know, kind of let him listen to the record and, and we talked about it and uh, we wanted the, the, that's an actual picture that he took in Cork, Ireland. Um, of that tree that oh, wow. looks like it's That's dead. gorgeous, yeah. From one side, it looks completely like it's dead. It's all rooted and, and looks scraggly. And then from the other side, every year, it's this just beautiful giant tree. Um, and so we cut that. We cut his actual image that he copyrighted himself in half, and then he edited over top of it, and we love it. We're, we're yeah. really As happy. soon as he sent that, we were like, that's definitely yeah. 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 Yeah, no, it's a it's a beautiful beautiful photo, and then you show the roots. You know, yep. that's what that's what's really that cool. Was, yeah, that was a big part of it too. Yeah, and so like the idea we talked about is like there's visible damage to the roots, but the tree still the, tr the tree still, still shreds. I love it. I love it. And now you guys got a big show coming up in Columbus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we we haven't been to Columbus as tyrants in the last uh, you know four years or so, and it's uh, excited to come back to a city that's growing and like does you know rock and roll so well. Uh, we're playing a double happiness with a band called Village Elder from Indianapolis. Check them out. They're, yeah, they're really awesome. We like those guys a lot. Really cool. Uh, new contact friends that we've made. Um, but yeah, it should be a cool show. We've got a bunch of different stuff that we're lining up right now. Um, the release has been good to us in the regard that, that people are, the visibility is much better now to where um, 
the word of mouth can get you so far, right? Yeah. Um, but with you know the whole idea that we're we're self managed and self controlled, um, everything has to be a process. You know, we and we do those processes ourselves. So it's nice to finally see the record getting some traction to where people are asking us to come play at their venues. Uh, if you're listening, venues, we love it. You ask us <laughs> yeah. to come play. When you say there's so a spot easy. and beers and like yeah. uh, we we love it. We would love to come do that. We'll, we'll be there. Yeah. You, we'll you be heard it. You heard it first. Yeah. We're going to be. Yeah. We're gonna be <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So excited about that. Hopefully, um, getting back up into Detroit uh, here pretty quick. Uh, Chicago, Buffalo, Baltimore, like all these fun cities that we Canada. came to before. Oh yeah, yeah. of course Canada. Now that it's open, the Northern yeah. Brothers. We're we're going up there. We're yeah, going to, we're going to see them. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to um, be smart, play where we want to play, have a good time. Um, there's no rules, you know, anymore. Like. With digital media, like for example, what we're doing right now, there's no rules to this. You do do whatever you want. There's finally a voice for people like us who, do, who yeah. can't pay to play. You know, if that's the well, what's really what's really nice too is nowadays you can see where you're getting traction, mm -hmm. right? You yep. can look online, you can see where you're getting a fan base built, mm -hmm. and you go play there. Those areas, absolutely, it makes a lot of sense, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, well, the last thing I wanted to say is thank you guys so much for coming in. Thanks it's been a pleasure having you guys on yeah, here. Look forward to hearing more and more music from you. Uh, hopefully I get a leak out of the new stuff uh, because I'm really enjoying the, the stuff you released already. So, all right, guys, like Tyrants, look them up. Give you your social media. Let them know where you can find you. Go ahead, gentlemen. Instagram at like Tyrants. Uh, the website's liketyrantsmusic.com. Uh, we're also on Facebook as well. So if you just search us there, you can find us on the Facebooks. Spotify, looking up like Tyrants, Apple Music. Also on YouTube as well. Yeah, so same all thing stuff, as well. Right. Like Tyrants, you'll be able to find us. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you guys. Much appreciated. Okay, thanks, thanks for, for having us. us. We really yep. appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs>